of my 31 days of self-love journey because I love food <laughs> and today I am with Vanessa but today we are going to be making vegan food so for all you veganites is that even a word? I mean it's not <laughs> it's not we are at the nest space and this is organic nomad and Vanessa owns it she's the owner black girl you know me all about that and local hi how are you doing <laughs> I'm so excited Welcome. to be here yeah. so what are we starting with so we thought let's do breakfast okay. so we're going to be doing some vegan pancakes yeah. they are hit yeah. at the nest space um so it's fluffy vegan pancakes crispy on the outside fluffy on the inside um layered with cinnamon and maple on top of the vegetables yum i'm so ready and i'm going to put so this on so we want to heat up the pan so that the pancakes are ready to go in. We're going to make the batter. So you're going to take the flour, and that's one cup and one fourth. Okay. So you just put in that big bowl. Yeah. Yeah. All of it. Okay. Cool. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring the sugar, two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, can I just top this all in? There? Yeah, sure. I'm going to make. Cool. <laughs> And you want to just mix it all together, so make sure that the sugar and flour are mixing. In the meantime, I'm just going to pour a little drizzle bit of oil in the pan, so just to it so it can heat up. That's right. And now a lot of people are always asking me, you know, how do you make everything stick with the eggs and all of that? So I'm going to show you a little um, trick that I've got. So you're going to take the same amount of flour and water, so one cup and one fourth. And in there, you're going to add, no, no, you're going to keep on the side for now because you're going to make that sticky um, sort of substance that's that uh, right? Okay. You're going to take some oil, two tablespoons of oil, into it. Cool. And then you're going to beat like eggs so, that way. There you go. Okay. Let me hold that while okay. you continue. Here. And now I want you to make a well within the flour. Right now you can just go in full on, we're making a batter. Now the batter isn't going to be smooth, it's going to be a bit lumpy. Okay. And when you have a lumpy sort of pancake batter, you know you've got it right. Woo! And you need an apron. <laughs> we're getting messy in here. <laughs> I mean, I wash my hands, but you don't, get the, you don't get the apron basics <laughs> right if you're not a chef. Um, I'll put a teaspoon in my hand and taste and see if that's if you like it, if it's too sweet, if it's too bitter. I think it's okay, there we go. She's going to have the sweetest pancakes yeah. ever known. Oh, going to, there's no technique, you're literally just pouring. Really Not too sweet. Ooh, watch out. There we go. Here's your teaspoon. And so when it starts to bubble up and then you'll see it's going to get crispy on the side and it gets, gets a little solid but not completely, then you'll know it's ready. So I'll flip it for you for the first one and then you'll do it. And that's literally as easy as I'm I'm so, I'm <laughs> so impressed. Like, this can be made every morning, very Absolutely. quickly. Absolutely. Like, there's so little that you need in terms of the ingredients and even the method. Now getting a bit crispy on the outside and the it's bubbling up and the bubbles are great. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna lift that up. And then after so we're gonna do this one and we're gonna do maybe five more. Stack them together, then we'll get to the garnishing and get the taste nice. Okay, I think uh -huh. So um, I'm just playing, I'm putting a little bit of syrup to keep yeah. it steady. No, no, just so you're just matters. putting that there and then you're gonna you have the crispy ring on the top. Yes, so you can just take the syrup and then you'll just drizzle it on top as much as you want. Um, there we go, and then you're ready for your next one. And this is, I guess, where you speed it up. It's almost like this. Oh 
Oh my gosh, you've got the crispiness and, and the fluffiness. Come look inside. Ooh. Mm. Well done. High five, bro. Mm. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, so now it's lunch time. Lunch time. <laughs> You're gonna take, you need a cloth for this, okay. and you're gonna get the tofu. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place the tofu on the on the cloth. Okay. Just the tofu. Oh, I know, I'm like, this feeling is so like, <laughs> wow. Wow. like, wow. So now what we're going to do, just very, we're not gonna, this is not scrambled, but we just wanna dry it out a bit, because we don't need it this way. Okay. Sandwich, you know? So you're just pressing slightly, but because we need it in blocks, if we're doing scrambled tofu, I'll just be squeezing out the water. And that's like a scrambled egg alternative. But this is gonna be nice. the mayor standard, so we kind of be a bit gentle, you know? People are always like, I hate tofu. Yeah, dude, tofu by itself isn't supposed to be eaten by itself. You yeah, to flavor I it. Um, <laughs> and I saw a tofu sandwich, I was just like, it's at this point that I'm gonna need the meat. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna cut these in blocks. So you just Got that, and now let's put it gently into the bowl. Gentle, gentle. We should have our own pretty like, chocolate chip box. I know. Gentle. Can you get the Beautiful. So now we're going to bring the vegan mayo. Your spawn. Actually, you can use this one because this was already used. So that's vegan mayo, and what did you say it tasted like? <laughs> normal mayo. She said normal mayo. I don't know why you're getting into it. You're giving it's it's so something like... different. <laughs> okay, let's put that aside. And it's really a long part, so just bring all your food, but let's bring the nutritional yeast. Okay. So it's two, so it's six yes. tablespoons of, that no, that's a black salt. Beautiful. So it's two ta six tablespoons of the vegan mayo. Two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, you throw it in there, and that gives it that sort of cheesy, eggy flavor as well. Nutritional yeast is usually used for vegan mac, vegan cheese, it's really, really cool. It doesn't taste like anything until you make it into something. Put some mustard in there. So, that's again, this is about two tablespoons of mustard. <laughs> we want the black salt. And you don't want to put all of it, you want about, let me get your teaspoon, you want about three quarts of a teaspoon. Okay. Leave that, yeah, so maybe crush it so that you, you can really do it. Okay. In the meantime, what does this actually look like if we're going to the shops? Like, so black salt looks like, no, it looks like a white pinkish powder, so this is what it looks like. You can get it at Eastern Temptations, that's my, that Indian auntie. Is what is the temptation is for all of us. Okay. Food. This is what's gonna give you that sulfur egg taste and smell. <laughs> Let's get some turmeric. Cool, yeah. And again, you can use as much turmeric as you want. I use the same as the black salt. Do what you need to do. And spring onions. I got them. Yeah. We chopped two there. Beautiful. <laughs> Gently, because we're not trying to mush it, and you already know the consistency is just to mix everything together. In the meantime, I'm going to get the French loaf you got. So soft. I love this French loaf, it's delicious. Cut about three portions for the cameraman and us. <laughs> I'm gonna get so excited. Yeah, beautiful. And so, I want you to bring the, let's clear up that area and then bring up the lettuce and then just slice this open like a sandwich. There, I'm gonna do that again. Now we're just gonna layer the lettuce. Okay. So, get your lettuce leaves. One more taste because I can't put it on the plate. It's beautiful. Wow, cool. You ready? And now what we're gonna do is scoop it in. Nice. 
kitchen eating my sandwich. Yeah, sandwich. Uh, but now it's a taste test. Are you ready? Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this is not gonna be fun. Uh -huh. Mm. 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 It's delicious. Mm. It's, uh, right now we're gonna be doing a chippy curry. Yes, do it time. <laughs> start, so let's start with some oil. Okay. Mm. And we know we're just taking a, 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 a dollop. No, actually no. This is this is a, no, we're not that kind of vegan. There we go. Don't forget I'm with the health nut here. I'm oh, very <laughs> And then let's get some zero spice. A drop, yeah, but not like. Okay, let's get that. Let's get that fire. Mm -hmm. Cause you know what's that mother-in-law? That's that mother-in-law. You know she's spicy. <laughs> and then let's get that cumin. Cool. So you get all your spices going first. Yeah. So we're creating oil. like a paste. And then what I'll need next is the onion. Let's put in some onions there. Beautiful. No? Yeah. I'm gonna need a little more oil. Beautiful. Let's get that garlic in here. Yum. Never too much garlic. Mm -hmm. Ginger. Fresh. Yum. Yum. Oh, I love this smell. Oh. Definitely yeah. smells Asian all the way. <laughs> and now let's bring those chickpeas in. She's using her hands. Yay. Amazing. <laughs> So some people keep the curry up to here and that's when they, they have either tomato base and go another direction. But we're going in the coconut direction. Yeah, man, so it's a time. It's a time. So quick, so quick. And then now we've got this pinkish brownish color yes, and that's not see. the color we want. So let's get that turmeric in here. So make sure yeah. it doesn't get on you because it doesn't gonna... stay exactly. exactly. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let everything just sit, simmer for a bit, maybe about 10, 7 minutes. And then in the meantime, we're gonna warm up our rotis. The tortillas here to warm up. Oh, yeah, that question about the apron this time. Yeah. Okay, I see. Ooh, I see what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> mm. See? Mmm. <gasps> you can taste that ginger. Mmm. -hmm. That spice that kicks you. So if you don't like spice, don't put it in, obviously. But it's a curry. What are you doing if you don't <laughs> like spice? Come on. Garnish with some coriander. Definitely. I love coriander. On the side here. Yeah. Of course, you know. <laughs> you gotta get that aesthetic going. You gotta get that aesthetic though, girl. There you go. Oh my god. So we wanted to show people, especially your followers, the ease in which you can go about it. Yum. Yum. Divine. Divine. Yeah, that's the, that's the final product.